Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. I'm really excited to show you guys this brand new battery from Rododo. This is their 100 amp hour mini battery. Now they call it the mini battery because it's about 35% smaller than their standard 100 amp hour battery, but it still packs the same capacity. For example, this is a little bit more narrow, it's a little bit less deep, and it's just a tad bit higher, but it still has 100 amp hour capacity inside. Now, both of these batteries are lithium iron phosphate batteries, meaning they are much more energy dense than lead acid. For example, this one comes in at 18 pounds and this one comes in at 23 pounds. They will also last a lot longer than lead acid. They are rated at 4,000 charge cycles to 80% of the original capacity and they have around a 10 year lifespan and each of these have a five year warranty. Now, on a previous video on the channel, I did a full test and review video for this battery. This is the 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery, but with built in heaters. So this one's really good for cold environments. During the teardown of this, this had really good build quality. Now this one's spec'd very similar, 12.8 volts nominal, 100 amp hours capacity or 1280 watt hours. And this also has a 100 amp BMS, meaning you can discharge it or charge it at 100 amps continuously. You can also connect this together in series for up to four batteries or 48 volts. Now, Rododo has excellent pricing. This battery is currently marked at $329 on their website, and I do have a 5% discount code that they've provided for you guys, my viewers. And if you apply that discount code, you can pick this up for 24 cents per watt hour. So in the rest of this video, let's go ahead and do extensive testing on this to see if we can pull full capacity, to see if we can get full rated power from it, and we also will do a teardown to see what the build quality is inside and to see if it has low temperature charging protection. Now my first test on the battery was a full capacity test. I finished topping off the battery using my adjustable power supply and once it hit 14.6 volts, it was finished charging. I then connected up a 250 watt load via my inverter to discharge the battery at a 0.2C rate. I was tracking the entire load going out of the battery via this contraption that I recently put together. It has a built-in display, shunt, and fuse. You can see here that I was pulling right around 250 watts during the entire test. Coming back after five hours, my inverter was shutting off from low voltage and looking at the display, I was actually able to pull 101 amp hours or 1300 watt hours during the complete discharge. These are excellent results and I was able to pull full rated capacity from the battery. In my next test, I wanted to see if the battery could handle 100 amp load for 15 minutes without shutting down. Remember, this has an internal BMS and it's rated for 100 amps continuous. With my inverter plugged into the battery, I connected up my EcoFlow Delta Max and set the adjustable charging rate to 1200 watts. With the efficiency losses going through my inverter, this was actually pulling around 108 amps or 1340 watts from the battery. Jumping ahead five minutes, I was surprised to see that this was able to pull over the 100 amp level without it turning off and I let the test continue and I was able to pull over the 100 amp level for 15 minutes without it shutting down. To push the battery even further, I connected up two electric heaters for total wattage over 2000 watts, just to see how the BMS would handle this large load. You can see on my shunt, I was able to pull 183 amps or 2140 watts from the battery continuously for two minutes before it shut off. Now just remember that for the best longevity, you wanna keep your load below 100 amps the less stress you have on your battery, the longer it will last. In the next section of the video, I wanted to test charging the battery. The first charger I connected is a generic LFP 20 amp wall charger. There are many different brands that sell this same charger. This one comes with two small alligator clips. You can see on this particular model, it puts out the full 20 amps and charging at this speed, you'll charge the battery in about five hours. If you want to charge a bit faster, you can also pick up this Ames battery charger. This one is fully adjustable via a screw on the back of the charger, which adjusts the charging amperage. You can charge at any speed between 20 amps and 80 amps. It's nice to be able to adjust the charging amperage. I have found this charger very useful since I have different sized batteries that I use daily. Now during all my charging tests on this battery, I didn't notice any weird bugs with the battery or the BMS. Okay, so now that we finished all the testing on the battery in the next section of the video, I wanna do a teardown to see the build quality inside and to verify if this has low temperature charging protection. Now keep in mind, this will void the warranty and I never recommend you guys to tear these down. It could be dangerous, you could short circuit the battery. Um, just be aware, don't do this. The other thing is I'm gonna be really careful to tear this down because I wanna use it afterwards. So hopefully I can get this open without completely destroying the actual case. 
a little longer than a few minutes later. Well guys, that was extremely difficult to get open. Unfortunately, the case uh, basically had to be destroyed. Never had a battery that hard to open up. Uh, it's just a complete new design. I mean, look how reinforced that lid is. That is awesome. Um, you have some really good conductors here too. It looks like four AUG cables. At least this one looks like four AUG. This might be uh, two eights in parallel. Um, but yeah, there's the battery. Um, it looks like it has these foam spacers and there's way less like air space and wasted space in this battery versus the other 100 amp hour batteries I've tested. Um, I'm wondering if this can just pull out. So I'm just gonna pull on the battery here. Okay, cool, look at that. So there are your foam spacers. Um, really cool. So it looks like there's four individual cells. So these must be 25 amp hour pouch cells. So then you have your four sets to make a 4S battery or 12 volt battery. Uh, you have two really strong metal plates and these are being compressed together. So that's really good. You wanna compress these pouch cells. Yeah, that's, that looks really cool. Um, you have your BMS on top. Uh, this is supposed to be a 100 amp uh, BMS. Um, looks like you have a high temperature sensor here. Uh, looks like you possibly have another high temperature sensor underneath the plate on the BMS. I do not see any low temperature sensors though. So I don't think this has low, low temperature charging protection. Okay, so what I wanna do is test this sensor here to see if it'll stop charging the battery when it gets hot. So I have my adjustable power supply putting five amps into the battery. You can see it's connected to the main positive and negative. And right here I have a heat gun. So I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna put heat onto this sensor. We're gonna see if that five amp stops charging. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Oh, there you go. See, it turned off. So this in fact is a high temperature sensor and I do not see any low temperature sensors on the battery. Now looking at the main conductors, this is a six aug cable. It is silicone wire rated for 200 degrees Celsius. And these are also eight gauge wires in parallel. So I was able to confirm that. So overall, I am impressed with the build quality. Uh, definitely a different size and form factor than I've ever looked at on the channel. Tons of power in such a small package on this. It is a little bit of a bummer that it doesn't have low temperature charging protection, but it did not advertise that on the listing. I just wanted to make sure. So let's go ahead and get this put back into the case and then we'll wrap up the video. First off, this is definitely the smallest 100 amp hour battery that I've tested on the channel. 35% smaller, yet we still were able to pull full capacity, 101 amp hours. We were able to pull over 100 amps continuously, really good build quality, and the price is really good as well. $329, but I also have a 5% off discount code included down in the video description so it can drop the price down even lower. Now, I'd love to get your guys' feedback on this battery. What do you guys think about the size or the form factor of this? Are you interested in a smaller form factor or does size not really matter? Throw a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this particular battery versus the other ones that I've reviewed on the channel. Now, of course, this doesn't have low temperature charging protection. Not an issue if you're gonna be using it in warm climates. Also, there are charge controllers that can have that protection built into them, so there are ways around that. Anyway guys, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and hopefully you guys stick around for future content. Thanks for watching. I'll recommend a few videos that you guys can check out if you guys are interested in other videos that I've made. We'll see you guys in the next one.